Our first inductee was here from 94 to 96. I remember a season with 29 touchdown passes. I remember a season with 63% of his completions. I have this vision. I'm almost sure it was the Wyoming game. Wyoming came in here, ranked 16th in the nation, and I can see him at the 10-yard line in the final minute, quarterback draw, pause, parting of the seas, runs for the touchdown, and the Aztecs beat Wyoming, upset them that day. This was a fine, fine quarterback who is the first of our inductees today into the Aztec Hall of Fame, Mr. Billy Blanton. There may be no more telling statistic for Billy Blanton than he passed for over 6,800 yards in 1995 and 1996, second only to Dan McGuire for a two-year total. Billy started 28 games at quarterback for San Diego State and helped the Aztecs to consecutive eight-win seasons in 95 and 96. Named second team All-Western Athletic Conference in 1995, Blanton had the most efficient passing season in Aztec history with his 169.6 rating in 1996. With spectacular precision, Blanton had 29 TD passes in 96 to rank second in a season to Aztec Hall of Famer Dennis Shaw. Billy is second all-time at state in total offense, passing yards, TD passes, and pass completions. Tops all-time in completion percentage at 639 and passing efficiency. Billy Blanton, a member of the 2015 Aztec Hall of Fame. Back. To officially introduce him, I mentioned three head coaches. Well, here's another one who was, I thought, one of the brilliant offensive coordinators and offensive minds in football. We were lucky to have him. Mr. Tom Kraft, right here. Thanks, Ted. I did, I've never heard that term before, but uh, I want to really say what a thrill it is to have Billy go in the Hall of Fame and to be back here. What a great building. I, I haven't been back here for 10 years. And um, first guy I see getting out of the parking structure is uh, Ted Tolner. And um, great to see him and Claude, um, who I loved coaching with. And I wanted to tell them, uh, they brought me to San Diego State as a player. And um, I hold them in the most high regard. Uh, and even Hammerschmidt. Uh, darn it. <laughs> Remember that when we had the two mile run and I won it? Yeah. Um, I won't tell you what he gave me, but uh, anyway, uh, Billy Blanton, it's my pleasure to introduce him. Um, fantastic guy. I think it's a testament to Billy that all of his linemen are here. Uh, I think Kyle Turley's going to be here tonight uh, at the game, but that, that says a lot about him as a teammate. Uh, the one thing that stuck out to me about Billy was I always look for a guy mentally and physically tough. Those are the two highest characteristics you can have as a player. And uh, Billy was one tough guy. We're playing at BYU. I think some of you people may remember that. Looking out in the audience, I definitely know there's people that remember it. Uh, we're playing BYU on a Thursday night, and we got the ball, and we scored on the first play. I think it was... Uh, what was it, Ted? We called it 668 or something like that. And he throws a dime ball to Oz Akeem. And we scored so fast that they didn't even get it on TV. They had cut to a commercial. But uh, in that game that's significant, um, he gets hit under the chin. And I guess he had a plastic chin strap. And uh, he had a gash. I mean, not a line where you look and go, okay, we'll put a couple of stitches. He had a legitimate gash in his chin. I went, oh, he's out. We got to go get Kevin, uh, our backup quarterback, ready. And um, he got sewn up. I don't know who our doctor was then. You remember? Dr. Weil. Dr. Weil. I mean, he did a great job. He sewed him up right away. And then he comes back with this big fiberglass chin strap. And he probably had a concussion, too. Back in those days, you didn't even know it. But uh, the, thing, the thing about it is, 
we went, we went on the field and we scored. Uh, he took us right down, and I just admired his toughness. Um, he was one of the toughest guys. Uh, he can throw a deep ball as good as anybody that's ever played here. Uh, you look at him, he's six foot. He's, he was 190 pounds. I mean, he's probably the best looking inductee I've ever seen. <laughs> look at this guy. I mean, he's a good looking guy now. I, I haven't even met your wife. Is that that's your wife? Uh, he's obviously a, a great husband. Uh, he's got great kids. He's great in the community. And that's what this is all about, too. You, you don't have to be 6'5", 230 pounds, or have played in the NFL to be recognized as one of the great quarterbacks in Aztec history. And the last thing I want to say, we kind of had a theme back then. Uh, Dennis mentioned Big Ed, and what a great staff uh, Ted put together. Uh, do things that have never been done before. He was a part of, the, I used to call him the Twin Towers. I mean, Billy and George Jones in the backfield, that's one of the most prolific yardage by two people in the backfield, and then Oz and Will outside. And they're the first group of people offensively to have a 3,000 yard passer, a 1,500 yard plus rusher, and 2,000 yard receivers. Nobody had ever done that in college football at that time. So he, he was part of leading that and one of the most prolific offenses of all time. And he's got a picture. I got, I got to get that picture. That, that, that is something else. And this is the guy that, that directed it. And uh, I'm just really proud to have had the opportunity to coach him. And he's a special young guy besides being a good looking guy. <laughs> Billy Blanton. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I remember uh, that hit at BYU, um, and yes, it was a concussion, uh, and I have a nice fat scar on my chin that my kids ask me, what's, what's that, Daddy? Um, this, is, uh, this is unbelievable. Um, I'm truly honored by this. Um, thank you to San Diego State. Uh, thank you to the athletic department. Um, thank you, Dennis, to the Hall of Fame uh, here. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, I was truly humbled when I got the message. Uh, I actually had to listen to it a few times. Uh, like, did, they, did that just say I'm getting inducted in the Hall of Fame? Um, and uh, I was actually further humbled when I got home and gathered my family around and said, hey, hey kids, guess what? Daddy's getting inducted to the San Diego State Hall of Fame. And they go, you're playing again? And I'm like, well, no. I'm, and they're like, oh, okay. And then they just ran off. <laughs> so they didn't really care. Yeah. Um, my success came because of the people that I played with uh, and the people that coached us, um, starting from the top uh, with Ted as our coach and with Tom as our offensive coordinator. Um, our offensive line could be one of the best offensive lines ever to play at San Diego State. Um, they're all here today, or going to be all here today. Um, I'm, I cannot believe all you guys made it. It's very special to me. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, we, we had the uh, definition of a true team when I was here, is what I believe. Um, offensively and defensively, um, we came together, we spent time together, we worked together, um, the re we played together. Uh, the relationships that I, that I have from those years are still strong today. And uh, it was a brotherhood, and it could not be broken. And I feel that that's the reason why we were so successful on the field. Um, so, you know, it's tribute to you guys for everything that you guys did. Um, we were led offensively by what I feel is one of the greatest minds, uh, or was one of the greatest minds, and still is one of the greatest minds in college football, and Tom Kraft. Uh, he was the calming presence on the sidelines. When things were going nuts during a game, I could always count on looking over to him, and he was very calm. When I come off the field, we had discussions. He was a true teacher of how to play the position. 
And most of all, he believed in me and gave me the confidence to, to be able to do what I could do on the field. Um, lastly, uh, you know, none of this happens if it weren't for the two most important people, my parents um, and the way that they raised me. Thank you for the support throughout the years. Um, you instilled work ethic, discipline, integrity, and the will to be a champion. And I just hope that I'm able to raise my kids as well as you've raised me. So, thank you. Take a picture. Billy looks like he could still play. Really does. It's awesome. 